okay good day our topic is about actual loans so we have here frames lateral loads now we have 30 60 4 5 6 and then the height is 4 meters and then 3 meters so to determine the actual loads so first is determine the positions of cg the center of gravity for the column areas so we have to let a as our area of one column since a a a a assume natin lahat yan is isang area so we have one two three four so that our total area is is equal to four a next we all know that in terms of varignan's theorem kailangan nyo naman yun or alam nyo naman regarding sa varignan's theorem natin okay so we have 80 x bar x bar is ito along dito point assume natin dito yung, yung x bar natin yan so is equal to summation of area multiplied by x x distance yan ha so we have here this one dito tayo ito ang reference natin so we have a 4e x bar is equal to we have ito reference natin so ito wala tayong makukuha dyan so dito tayo sa pangalawang a so we have to put a multiplied by ito 0 naman na yan eh plus a multiplied by 4 yung distance plus this one a multiplied by 9 plus we have a multiplied by 15 Okay, next, since this is 4a, x bar, and this is a, 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 so ilagay na natin yan sa a, sa so, algebra natin, 4 plus 9 plus 15, so ilagay natin 4 plus 9 plus 15, so cancel, cancel, matitira, okay, divided by 4, sorry, divided by 4, so our x bar is equivalent to, ilan, so we have 7, meters. So, yung 7 meters na yan, dito natin siya ilalagay. So, we have to put 7.5 meters. So, next step. Ito naman yung gagawin natin. Okay, wait. Okay, so, column actual loads na tayo. So, kakat natin to. This is our, yan, reference. Or yan yung kakat natin na area. As you can see, point of inflection pa rin tayo. Point of inflection, which means the center of column tayo lagi. Ilagay natin si 30 kN. Lagay natin yung kalahati ng 3, which is 1.5 meters. I-plot natin as this is your A, B, C, D. This is, lagay natin as this one. This is force. Ano yung force kaya dyan? Force AE. So, lagay natin force AE. Dito naman. Force BF. How about dito kung saan nagkaroon siya ng X bar? Okay, kung saan matatagpuan yung center of gravity natin. Lagay natin 7 meters yan. Kung ito pababa lahat, ito dapat pataas. So, lagay natin ng force. Force CG. And then, this one is also force dh. Okay, next. Ang gusto ko mangyari is in terms of FAE lahat. So, ano yung gagawin natin? Then, ito lang ha. Ano yung gagawin natin? So, we have here. Lagay ko muna rito si FBF. Kasi, ito yung, ito yung kukunin ko. So, in terms of FAE ako. Okay, dito tayo tumingin. If this is, okay, if this is 4 meters, this is 5 meters, and this is 6 meters, ayan. Ibig sabihin, if this is 5, ayan. Ayan ha, check natin mabuti. If this is 4 meters, minus 7, this is 3. Note po dyan, 3 meters. If this is 5 meters, ibig sabihin, this is 2 meters. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Ang gagawin natin ganito. Si FBF, okay, papunta, FBF is 3, and then next, 
from this point up to this is 7 and then F A E. Ulitin ko. Dito naman tayo. Kunin ko sa F C G. Ilan nito? 2. Ang ilagay nyo lagi sa denominator, x bar natin, 7. Kunin mo lagi si F A E. Next, dito naman tayo sa F D H. Sa F D H natin, ganun ulit. Kunin natin to. This is 2 plus 6 is 8 meters. And then, ang denominator lagi natin dyan is yung x bar natin which is 7. Lagay lang natin si F A E. So, as you can see, in terms of F A E lahat. Okay, so, ayan yung, ayan, inayos ko na para mas malinis. Okay, so, next is, dito tayo magsa-summation moment. So, we have summation moment at O is equal to 0, clockwise to become positive. So, ano na yung clockwise dyan? So, we have 30. Dito yung reference natin. So, that is clockwise pa ganun. So, we have 30 multiplied by 1.5. Okay, minus. What is my minus? FAE kasi counter siya. So, we have FAE multiplied by 15 minus FBF multiplied by 5 plus 6 is 11. Okay, next plus. Bakit plus? Kasi ito counter. So, FCG multiplied by 6 is equal to 0. Okay, gamit ako ng block ball pen para mas makita na lang. Next. So, lahat na naka-arrange na siya. Ang gusto ko in terms of FAE lahat since may FAE rito. So, we have 30 multiplied by 1.5 minus FAE multiplied by 15 minus, ano yung FBF ko? Ito yung FBF ko. So, we have 3 all over 7 FAE multiplied by, ito hindi naman nawala, it's 11. Plus, ano yung FCG ko? Yung FCG ko dyan, ito. So, 2 all over 7 FAE, mumultiply lang natin siya ng 6 is equal to 0. Since lahat na in terms of FAE, pwede ko na siyang collect. Collect it thing of term. So, negative 15 minus 11 plus 2 all over 7 times yan. So, we have FAE 18. Pa-double check na lang ha. Okay. Is equal to to transpose natin. So, we have 31.5. Okay. Next. So, divided by 18, divided by 18, sorry, is equal to your FAE is 2.5 kilo newton. Okay, since we have this value, ang gagawin lang natin is a substitute dito. So, we have here 2.5. 2.5 and also this is 2.5. So, yun sinapin. So, therefore, your FBF here is equivalent to 3 all over 7 times 2.5 is 1.07 kilo newton. Next, we have 2 all over 7 times 2.5. So, that is your FCG. That is 0 0.71 kilo newton. And last, your FDH is 8 all over 7 multiplied by 2.5 so that is 2.86 so this is your value for the forces FAE BF FCG FDH for your actual loads next naman natin is ito yung susunod naman natin is ito cut natin to so this will become your force EI force FJ force GK and then force H L okay okay so in a range na natin yan kinot ko na siya dito so as you can see force E I F F J F G K and F H L same pa rin yung arrows natin so ito downwards ito upwards and magkaroon lang tayo ng additional load which is 60 kN and 30 kN so we have 3 meters and then of course ito sa Gitna natin kinat, so we have point of inflection. Also, the height would be 2 meters. So, tulad pa rin ang process na ginawa natin kanina. So, paano yun? Alamin muna natin, ito, gusto ko lahat in terms of FEI. Okay, dito. So, 
Kung ito ay 2 meters, sorry, 3 meters, ito naman ay 2 meters. Ito naman ay 8 meters tulad kanina. Sabi ko, F, F, J is equal to, kunin natin si 3, ang denominator ay lagi si x bar. Multiplied natin ng F, E, I. Ulitin ulit natin dito. We have F, G, K. Kunin natin to 2, Papunta rito ha sa CG, kaya 2 yan, all over 7, multiplied natin na, yan, FEI. Next, we have FHL. Ano na may FHL natin? Distance, pagmula dito sa CG natin, pagpunta rito, we have 8. Ilan naman siya, pagpunta dyan, x bar is 7, multiplied by FEI. So, this will become your values para sa summation moment natin. Nagyan natin dito ng Q. Ayan. So, dyan ako magmo-moment. So, summation moment at Q is equal to 0. Clockwise is positive. Ano-ano yung mga clockwise dyan? 30, 60, FGK. Counter, we have FEI, FFJ. Okay? So, ayun si natin. We have 30 multiplied by 5 kasi dito ako. Plus 60 multiplied by 2 minus FEI multiplied by 15 minus FFJ multiplied by 11. Okay, next. Meron pa plus FGK multiplied by 6 is equal to 0. Okay, palitan na natin yung mga values. Gusto ko itong FFJ, gawin na natin FEI lahat. So, we have 30 multiplied by 5 plus 60 multiplied by 2 minus, okay, okay, FEI natin. 15 minus FFJ, 3 all over 7 multiplied by FEI multiplied by 11 plus FGK, which is 2 all over 7, FEI multiplied by 6 is equal to 0. So, lahat in terms of FEI. So, Kung aayusin natin lahat yan, your FEI would be, okay, your FEI would be, ayusin natin, FEI is negative 18, transpose din natin to, so this will become negative 270, alisin natin yung negative, okay, so your FEI is equal to 15 kilo newton. So, ito, i-substitute natin dito. So, that is 15, this is also 15, and 15. So, FFJ is equal to 3 all over 7 multiplied by 15. FGK is equal to 2 all over 7. 15. FHL, 8 all over 7 multiplied by 15. So, ilan yan? Okay, so this is 6.43 kilonewton. This is 4.29 kilonewton and last is 17.14 kilonewton. So, these are the values of your actual load. So, yan lang po yung mga actual loads calculations natin. We have FBF, FCG, FDH. Next, we have FFJ, FGK, FHL, and also you, you have your FEI. So, Ito mga values na to, magagamit pa din natin siya sa cantilever method. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.